Ever experienced worry or stress, anxiety in your life? Maybe it just sneaks up on you and you just want it to stop. Or maybe you just want it to eliminate it from your life completely. My name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design and today's video is how to eliminate stress or anxiety from your life within minutes. And so I'm excited to dive in with you guys today because I actually just made a post about this the other day on Facebook and I thought, you know what, a lot of people in business and in their life in general, they, and especially in today's times, we all have this stress or anxiety show up in our life. And so how do we overcome it? And I just put together something on Facebook that it works for me, it works for clients, so why not spread it out into my audience out there around the world so that people can be able to take this simple strategy and have the information to overcome the stress or anxiety that they experience in their life. Some people, they experience it daily. So I want my whole goal is to help you eliminate that. So let's dive in. And there's a great quote by Dr. Wayne Dyer that I absolutely love. <clears throat> I'm gonna read it here, he says, the truth is that there's no actual stress or anxiety in the world. It's your thoughts that create these false beliefs. You can't package stress, touch it, or see it. There are only people engaged in stressful thinking. And I always love that because there's, if you think about two people, one experiences the stress and anxiety in their life, the other person doesn't. Well, if you have them in the same exact household, what's the difference? The environment's the same, the external is the same, but the internal's different. <clears throat> and a lot of us, we experience anxiety in our life because of what we think about, right? Our mind controls everything. And if you think bad thoughts, and I'm just gonna you know, simplify this, if you think bad thoughts, you're gonna start to feel bad, disempowered. But if you think good thoughts, you're gonna feel a lot better. Now, I'm not sitting here, my whole message is not think positive thoughts, right? Like that, they, look, that doesn't always work for people. It does at times, but depends on the size and the amount of time that one's been thinking about something in their life or in that moment. And we'll talk about that here in a moment. Um, but I have a great teacher, Dr. Matt James. Uh, he owns NLP.com, Huna.com, and he wrote a great article around the anxiety and he says, when we feel anxious, what we're actually doing is we're imagining a bad outcome for something that, that hasn't happened yet. <clears throat> See, our unconscious mind controls 90 to 99% of us. And our unconscious mind thinks in pictures, symbols, metaphors. And so what we're doing is we're sometimes unconsciously, we're projecting a bad outcome, a bad image in our brain of something like, for example, you're not, works, you know, might be laying people off and you imagine in your mind you getting a pink slip and getting cut off or you worry, you have this image of something happening to your child or you have this image of something happening to a family member or yourself with your health and it's a, not a good one. This image pops up in our head and it controls us, right? And then <clears throat> when we have these thoughts, it's like all of a sudden it triggers us to go into that fight or flight mode. And that's really the sympathetic nervous system. It kind of functions like a gas pedal in a car. It triggers that fight or flight response, providing the body a burst of energy that, so that it can respond to the perceived dangers. So you trigger the sympathetic nervous system to kind of vroom, push on the gas. And all of a sudden it's like, we have these worries, these thoughts, and it's like we're out of control. So what do we do? How do we take our foot off the gas? Well, <clears throat> this is what I do to help eliminate anxiety or stress in my life. And the first thing is I like to sit down and I like to close my eyes and put on some meditation music. So immediately what that's doing is we're cutting off one sense of sight of anything that could be triggering us to go into that fight or flight response that could give us that uh, anxiety or stress, excuse me. And so I do that, but then I also put on meditation music to start 
kind of putting me in this space, right? This auditorial modality that starts to bring peace and joy. It's kind of like when I meditate, I have these meditation music clearly, and that is an anchor to start going into a peaceful state. So if you turn that on, you're automatically closing off one sense, turning on another sense and sending a trigger, an anchor of peacefulness to start letting your foot up off the gas. And so I start there. But then you got to remember, <clears throat> just because you're doing that does not mean that your heart's not still racing. So the next step is we must be able to lower our heart rate and be able to kind of come back to a centered place. So how do we do that? What I like to do is I like to make sure I do an inhale through the nose for about a four to six second count and a long exhale out the mouth for about six to eight seconds. So what that does is as we breathe in, our heart rate elevates, but as we exhale, the longer we exhale, it allows our heart rate to decrease. So we're constantly gonna have this fluctuation, but hopefully over time, our heart rate starts to decrease. So it goes something like this, in for four seconds, out for eight. So I would repeat that over and over and over. And so we call that kind of like the ha breath. And so you're like, you're fogging up a window in a car, like, ah, right, in a cold winter day. So we wanna do continuously repeat that cycle for about two to five minutes. And so I like to do that, but in the same time, you can either say in your head, or you, what you could do is you could slow down after you feel like your heart rate's starting to settle. <clears throat> and you can do a quick little mantra. And that little mantra that I like to throw out there is, I'm in control, I am safe, I am guided, I am divinely guided. I am in control, I am safe, I am guided, I am divinely guided. And I'll just repeat that over and over and over. And then I'll wrap up with another maybe four or five ha breaths so that I can make sure my heart rate's lowered. And what this does is it starts to get us out of that fight or flight response. It starts to bring us into a more calm centered space and it stops our mind from racing and projecting the bad outcomes moving forward. So you can do any version of this that you want, but then from there, once I'm done and I've done those last four ha breaths, what I'll do is I'll start picturing the outcome of what I do want versus what I don't want in those situations. So for example, if you're picturing something bad happening to a family member in their health, you picture them you know, totally recovered, healthy, whole, you guys having fun, celebrating the overcoming. Or if it's something around financial where you feel like you're gonna experience loss in your life, you picture more than enough coming in and you breathe that in, you breathe that energy and you feel it in your body and you lock it into place. And it's kind of like the way I like to lock it into place is, you know, when you're putting in Tupperware into, uh, you know, food in the Tupperware and you kind of snap it in place, you hear it. When I have that great image in my mind, I kind of like hear it snapping into place, locking into place for me so that I can me now project what I want to happen and not what I don't want. So many of us just let our minds take control of us when we need to take control of our mind. But how we do that is, well, when our mind takes control of us, it triggers the body. So if we can slow down the body, get that under control, we can start to get the mind under control. And when we get the mind under control, we now can direct it and shift it to what you want or change the dial on that station in your mind screen so that you can picture what you do want, not what you don't want. It's not just enough to have positive thoughts because if you're in a state of fight or flight, and if you've ever been there before, you're not like, all right, I'm gonna be okay, I'm gonna be okay, I'm gonna be okay. It's like, no, you're still freaking out. You have to calm the body. And sometimes you need to step away from an environment that you're in, go into a more peaceful one, shut off different modalities, put headphones in, turn on that meditation music or something that makes you feel good and start relaxing the body so you can change your mind at that point and focus on what you do want and not what you don't want. I'm telling you, I've done this many, many times before. It is not easy in the beginning. I wanna warn you, it is not easy. So if you think, oh my goodness, I did what Joe said and it didn't work. Well, that's like you go, you had never been to the gym and you put on two plates on the bench press and you try to push and you can't move it. And you're like, I, I can't get stronger. 
No, you just haven't practiced enough. You haven't done enough reps at a lower weight to start building up there so that when it does happen over time, as you build that muscle, it becomes easier to get out of the stress and anxiety for you and you start to take control more and you'll notice that you'll start to slowly eliminate how long you experience stress or anxiety. You'll start to notice that it won't happen as frequently and ultimately you'll start to eliminate a consistent experience of that. Now, will we always, will we never experience stress or anxiety in our life ever again? The answer is no, we're all human. I still do, I coach this, I teach this, I do this. I mean, I still have it from time to time. But what I don't do is I don't live there. A lot of people, they live there and they feel helpless to change. And so I wanted to make this video so that you felt in control, you felt powerful, and you had a, stra a strategy or a way to overcome this and break it down in a simple way. So we gotta take back our sympathetic nervous system, kinda of let the foot off the gas so that you can change your mind and move forward. So look guys, I hope this helps. If you found value, please comment below whether you think it was great or you're like, I don't, you know, it just doesn't work for me. I wanna hear, let me know, what was your experience? And then give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, but most importantly, subscribe, turn on the notifications because we're doing three videos a week coming at you and we wanna be able to give you the best that we have here at Master Life by Design because we're all about consciously creating a life that you want, not what everyone else says on social media and the way you think you should live it. How do you want to live your life? And if you feel like you're just stuck in a rut and you can't do that, you can't, you can't seem to break through, fill out the coaching application on the description below and one of us will reach out to you. Someone on the team will reach out to you about working with one of our coaches or one myself or my wife and so that we can help you break through to that next level and create life by design for you. So with that, my name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See ya.